Welcome back, lovelies and lovettes, to this game. So, I know it's been a while since I last did anything on my channel. I honestly don't even remember what I last did on my channel. Are they upgrading any? No, all maxed out. That's, that's good. So, ooh, crap. Chonky boy. Let's get some of my boys to take him out. You must out chonk the chonker with your chonkin' number. For all those you are questioning what I'm saying, well, that that's not what you're supposed to be doing now, is it? It's supposed to be getting up in the green. One, discover. Explore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's a lot. That that's actually quite a bit. So much ants. Hope you guys are actually enjoying the videos that I'm making. You know they're all kinda pointless and dumb. But I do want to get into the topic about what I'm going to be talking to today. And it's, well, D&D, &D because that's what I like playing. If you guys have a problem with that, well, then watch a different channel. Simple enough. Oh no, he's not out chonking him. You help him. Okay, you're going in there. He's not going to live through this, is he? No. Well, we killed off the crab, although we lost a we lost a good soldier. He will be remembered. Can't make more guardians. Only two more. Oh well. Guys, collect food for the horde. Yeah, but basically, I have. Kind of started up a new campaign at uh, this thing I do on Thursdays, which is today's Wednesday. It's Wednesday night, so later today, if I do remember, I will be putting out a uh, video. If I upload it today, well, I have both uh, videos uploaded, like pretty much back to back, or probably day late, whatever, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's pretty good because we're starting out with uh, level 1 characters and currently there is 5 of us within the uh, game, look, little desert shroom, and I know who three of our characters are, and the other two I don't really know about them. I do know that there's a uh, a human fighter as one of the others, and a uh, I know he's a cleric, but that's about it. And for the guys. Who, uh, the other two who I hung out with today, I'm going to be going into a bit more detail about the characters. Take like over there. Do some drawing. Because I'm a top animator. So, my character, let's get a nice green. That's, all these greens are awful. Uh, this is, this is an okay green. I'll put two dots there. But it, my character is Mog. Mog. I wish I had my stylus, but I lost it. That's somewhere under my bed. It's looking awful. Mog is a goblin. Whoa. Whoa. That's how goblins look. He's short. 
my goblins are. This looks awful. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Well, we all gotta start somewhere. And this draws beard. And also his hair. He has like a mohawk. That's what I'm giving him. Small beard. And then he has his pants that kind of look like that. Basically, he is a goblin barbarian. And for him, he has, he was a goblin, because he's the only character who I know the backstory of, because he is my character. Because he was a goblin who was in a village, of well, goblin village, or a, go a village of goblins. And... Basically, he went out on a raiding party. I would think of it more correctly. And I'll probably be able to say it better. But basically, he was part of a tribe of goblins. And then one at one point, he goes out on a raiding party, or whatever. And he ends up getting captured by a, the kingdom of the name I can't remember. Oh well. And once he gets captured, he becomes a flat. He becomes like a pit fighter because he's a slave, and a gla and he's now a gladiator, which it's his background. Eventually, he escapes in a slave revolt. And. Once he got free from the slave revolt, he went to at the trident, by the way. He went to another uh, place, which is the place we are at now, which I also don't know the name of. And he is currently broke, although he's the richest of the three members. And he shall be going throughout the city. And he's going to attempt to basically create a a goblin army and try to take over a lot of stuff. My main plan is for him basically to uh, take over the place that enslaved him. But I doubt we're going to get there, so it's probably just him expanding his empire within the actual... Uh, Well, within the actual place that we're playing as, and have it be like, once the end is like, eventually he managed to take over, another crab, or something like that. And that is Mog's character. Second character we have, okay good, two on one, this guy didn't stand a chance. Also some fighters, which, oh the loader's gonna drive in. There he is. And next we have our, our uh, oh, what is it? Oh yeah, we have our little halfling. I wonder what colors halflings would be. That's a halfling color. That's halfling colored. And our halfling, I want you guys to guess his name. If you guys guessed Bill Bro Braggins, then congrats, you're correct. Now that's a little brighter. There we go. Which, our little halfling is like some 10 year old and who has the, uh, fucking snoring. I hope that's not getting picked up by this. God damn it. Basically, wait, this dang is close. I'm gonna get it. There we color in. 
There we go. And he's basically the most like evil character in the group as he's chaotic evil. Mog is actually chaotic good. Which is basically for Mog, he's like a he's pretty violent, but he is good nature. There's another crab if you guys want to watch the fight. And uh Yeah, Mog's pretty, like, good nature, but real short fuse is like the top of the fight currently, as we are like, one session in. We hop it. There we go, that's much better. Uh, he is a, or Dobro Braggins is a bard, a hobbit bard, and currently he has gotten into, well, almost gotten into a fight with, uh, my character Mog. I don't know, I actually don't know if I said my character's name, but it's Mog. Okay, I've actually won the fight. Possess shell. Okay then. Craft fed. Guardians. Make. Yeah. Only 40 guardians. And yeah, we need more. And our final care. Yeah, I don't know that much about, uh, uh, Bilbo Braggins besides that he's a hobbit. And he is a, uh, bard. Our final character, who is a cleric is a really long legs is a dwarf as you can see yeah he has really long legs like dwarves i don't know they probably have legs there we go dwarf and clothes <laughs> eh grumpy He's actually playing as true neutral, which I would never play as true neutral just because I don't know how you're like, how would you like role play someone who's true neutral? It's like, I'm not particularly in agreement with either side either way. Because it's like, for me, that role playing it would be impossible. But he is a dwarven cleric. <laughs> I don't know why his face is just hilarious. Womp. And, uh, his character, I don't know that much about, else about him, really. He's kind of like with Bill Bro Braggins. Or, well, his name is Throm. I guess I'll give you guys that. And, that is all I can able to tell you currently about our, uh, characters. And that snoring is very annoying. I'm, I'm terribly sorry if you guys are able to hear it.
this bad. It's really just that's upsetting for me because I I have to listen to it, and if you guys want to listen to it, then you're less likely to watch my videos, and then I'm upset about it. Well, it's tapping as well. I don't even know why I make these videos besides my own bo boredom, I guess. Take out a dumb crab. But the story, as of so far, is that our three characters and the other two are currently broke. Be and we came into the city and we had to borrow money from one of the banks and take a loan out so that way we could buy us some equipment. To actually become adventurers and earn money. Mog has already collected enough uh, money to basically pay off his uh, debt. Because he only owes like uh, 30 gold and 20 silver. Because a bar barbarian's pretty cheap. I actually research his stuff for the... Uh, uh, Bilbo Braggins, the bard. And his stuff is like pretty expensive because he has a rapier. Oh dang! Which the rapier costs like I think it was like fifteen or more. It costs like fifteen or more gold for it. So that's incredibly expensive. At least compared to what I'm. God damn, that's snoring. God, I, it's, there's more. Skull spiders. That oh, I can actually see it. I'm not going to attack it just yet, but knowing that there's more is pretty exciting. Oh dear God! Attack this one. Any more warriors now? Right, attack. Creating warriors. Does this warrior not have any health? Oh dear god, no, he does not. Click on this. Click. <clears throat> this guy. Right here. The one who's almost dead. The guy with like five health left. Click. Mm, you're pissing me off. Three health left. God, that's snoring. I hate it. So I'm so sorry, guys. Please don't leave me forever. Yeah, come on, guys. It's just so, there's only a lot of them. Um, let's. 66 and 98. And it's probably not going to go too well for my dude. He's like, no, oh, he's actually, no, oh, he's kicking the ass. Okay, so now I was saying before I was interrupted, I damn song is continuing to go on. Is that our characters are broke. Or I was actually saying that. Uh, the. The whatever he's called. The bard. Has some pretty expensive stuff. Because the loot. Is 35. I think the rapier. He has like. 15 or 25. Something like that. And. He could. He's able to choose from either the explorers or diplomat pack. Or not. Uh, he's able to choose from either the diplomats or the entertainers. With the diplomats costing uh, 39 gold, and, ex and entertainers is costing him 40, so that's just a lot of money he has to pay. When mine was like a lot cheaper. So that's what I'm glad for.
Why is it like snoring only occasional though? Like there's not always snoring. Like this night in particular, they're snoring. Okay, I'm gonna try to spend the last 10 minutes trying to explain the plot so far. Basically, our characters are broke and we're joining up with a, uh, I don't really know, like a mercenary band or whatever. We're working for a guy to get paid and he's having us, like, run on jobs. A guild, that's what it is. And, since we're part of this guild, we are currently going on missions. Our current mission is to find out about a murder case, and we haven't really done a whole lot about finding out about anything. But there is other things that we did, because the main... A uh, lot of our like campaign is called like the knife of something, which is we're finding or like look, looking for a knife, and that's that. But we are uh, we met a guy who is like a hey, we're looking for this knife. And like, he was going through uh, the rooms of one of the other players like, and stuff. Because that guy was doing it. And so he was pretty much... That guy was pretty much kind of like in, trying to intimidate the information out of him. While searching. Pretty much being like, hey, you have to look for this knife and find it. While trying to uh, uh, basically search that guy's room which was Thrum trying to <sighs> and searching through Thrum's room to look for the knife and the second room that he goes into and like he didn't find it there he then goes into Mog's room and this is where kind of things went in a bit of a Downhill for him, at least. Because he was pretty much trying to intimidate Mog, and Mog is very violent. But to be fair, he did shoot first because Mog didn't really like having someone try to intimidate him. So, Mog just did what Mog is good at, and Mog started swinging his flail, land Mog, because there was a guy and his two bodyguards. Mog managed to kill one of his bodyguards, and the other bodyguard was captured, because the other guys are not good at killing him, And the but the main guy got away, because the other guys aren't good at killing them. And upon that, the guy that we did capture, he ended up escaping because I'm in a group full of idiots. Or Bilbo Braggins is an idiot. Did we discover anything up top? Now that I'm wondering. Oh, we made it to the top. Neat O. Oh, look, there's another beehive. I'll save that one for the next video. But... Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Because Mog basically got into the fight. He started a fight because he was trying to intimidate the Mog. And, oh yeah, the guy who we actually had captured, basically, Bilbo Braggins, the 
attacked him, trying to be like, uh, and I execute him as he was like, he was currently being interrogated, which Mog actually tried cutting one of his hands off during the interrogation to intimidate information out of him. And, uh, his hand didn't come fully off. So that's about, like, a good halfway or so. But when, uh, Bilbo Braggins tried killing, killing him with his rapier, he ended up just cutting off the ropes that Mog tied to him. And then he just walked up and left. And, uh, Mog wasn't able to do anything because he had, a uh, I think it's hideous laughter that was put on him. So Mog was just over in his area doing his own thing, unable to, like, let me pause for a quick second. Yeah, and, uh, Mog was, a. Uh, uh, basically being forced to laugh a bunch, like, just finding everything to be crazily funny. And so the guy basically got away. That's all their fault. Other than that, we basically walked around the city trying to do some informational stuff. I like to figure out who does the guy that to basically attack us at our own home. Like, who does he work for? Like, what? Of, like, which of the many houses does he work for? And we were told by the guy we captured before he was basically let go that he works for this one group, but it uh, turns out he doesn't. Because my group's a bunch of idiots. But, uh, yeah, and after today, I'll have more information on what the plot has been doing so far, and uh, there, that's a lot of spiders. Holy crap, I'm, I'm sorry for anyone who has arachnophobia, just comes across a bunch of skull spiders. Come on, come on, the crabs can't hide forever, but they can hide for quite a long time apparently, but uh, where it will be going is, I'm not sure, spiders are sending out a dude, are they, the dude's going to die, look this one, Guardian could take him out all by himself, like, doesn't even need backup. You fight a loader, he will definitely kill it. But other than that, it's, that's gonna be a no. Yeah, this Guardian should encounter him. Yep, there, he's dead. And I do hope you guys enjoy watching this uh, awful thing that I'm putting on for you guys. Because I, I know it's awful and I have such low quality, but I'm really trying for you guys. I do the best that I can with the little that I got. And I know I wish I would be smart enough to remember the own, my own stories that actually happened. Because I was there, part of the story, part of the great action, but no, yeah, I'm just too dead. But thanks for sticking around, I guess. Or just having happening to skip to this exact part of the video but 
well, it has been a wondrous time with you guys. But we have hit the 30 minute mark. So, see you all next time.